We have team coverage tonight. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle has more after one senator from Massachusetts plans to reintroduce a bill to fund gun violence prevention research. We begin first, though, with Western Mass News reporter Kristen Brunell. In the wake of the Nashville shooting, many are talking about the released body cam footage. Kristen. Yes, Chris, that's right. Springfield Police is just one of the few departments that utilize body cameras in Western Mass, which they say is very helpful since they were first implemented in 2020. We want to warn you, the video you might about to see is might be disturbing to some viewers. Harrowing body camera footage released on Tuesday shows the moment police in Nashville, Tennessee, track down and confront the shooter inside a school where three children and three adults were killed. In the six-minute video, you can see officers clearing rooms on both the first and second floors until the suspect is eventually shot and killed on the second floor. This video providing many answers on how the situation was handled in real time, but also leading to questions about which local police departments use body cameras and their benefits. Springfield Police Superintendent Cheryl Claproot spoke during a public safety meeting last week, sharing how the use of body-worn cameras in the city's police department has helped their officers and the department over the past three years, especially when it comes to citizen complaints about actions by police officers. Do you get a lot of complaints? No, we, we get about, we, we're averaging about roughly three a month. Um, oh. the, still the most complaint is rudeness. Um, and that has been solved mostly by the body-worn camera. People interpret people, uh, most of the officers being professional and short now that they are, they're, they're recording. And that is unfortunately seen by rudeness sometimes by those that we stop. But the body-worn camera has settled that. Meanwhile, State Senator John Velas tells Western Mass News he believes having body cameras for police officers is essential, especially following the shooting in Nashville. You have a real-time video of what transpired. So from an evidentiary standpoint, from a did law enforcement do something wrong standpoint, from a protecting law enforcement from frivolous claims about their behavior standpoint, if you literally look at everybody involved in a police encounter, getting an accurate depiction of what happened helps everybody. And he says more police departments should have these types of tools. So really, from our standpoint, it, we think it's the, the path going forward, right? The state police have them. You know, some of the departments have them out here. I believe that many more need to. I think it's inevitable. I think they're going to have them. Now, coming up at six, we're looking into why many local police departments are holding off on getting body cameras for their officers. Reporting live at studio, Christopher Brunel, Western Mass News. Thank